Magnus, you started the day uh, three points behind uh, Duda. Now you're only half a point behind Duda, and you were actually surprised by that. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I, I made like a conscious effort not to look at the standings all day, partly because it's <laughs> nicer to look at it when you're when you're when you're doing well. But um, yeah, obviously now it's um, anyone's game. You started off slowly. You lost the game, but after that you just started. You won five in a row, basically. What changed at that point? Not too much. Uh, to be honest, like I didn't feel so good today. Uh, I, I mean, I stayed up to to watch the um, Miami Boston game. I, I, yeah, I mean, I was going to go to sleep, but then the game was exciting, and then but but the problem was I couldn't sleep so well early today. So yeah, I didn't feel feel great. And to be honest, like the amount of luck I had, <laughs> a turning it, point it, actually. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, yeah I know, no, it's just. For each of those five games to all end in wins, like so many things had to go go right. But I'll take it, of course. Of course. And let's talk about uh, this last game because you definitely came out with an aggressive stance. Yeah. Right. Okay. But this was yeah, this was an insane moment. Like, uh, why on earth did I not go night a five? That's what I realized like right right after because I was thinking that the pawn was hanging but after C, knight C2 I was thinking that I need to go A4. bishop d4 first uh, bishop d7 first and then uh, but anyway I mean so many things happened and, and was the strategical point behind the knight a5 just uh, yeah you just want to clamp down on the on the queen side and then as long as white doesn't have like attacking chances on um, on the king side you have a space advantage and a, and a bishop there so the long term prospects are are pretty pretty nice and you were out playing him but then things yeah, got a bit wild yeah, yeah. Uh, when did you feel like you're losing a little oh bit of no, no I was losing control here because I mean I could tell I could tell that my position was probably winning uh, but I had no idea what to do um, and you had two minutes and he had only 13 seconds so you know, yeah uh, but but here like uh, up to this point, at least for a while, like all of my moves have been completely automatic, and now I actually have to think, and I failed uh, spectacularly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see, g5, g4. Slow yeah, like slow. ideas like rook e8, then knight c2, bishop d5. I didn't think about it at all. Like just to hold. Rook e8. Uh, uh, yeah, but here I, I knew that this f4 stuff was crazy, but I, I just didn't. I it's just didn't the best see what move, to do. Actually, at this point. No, no, at this point, but this whole plan, yeah, was was insane. Yeah, um, you guys got to the descend game. Yeah, which I'm, I'm probably like not probably not worse, but I'm not really better either. Oh, for a second you thought that you might even be worse. Actually. Yeah, like a little bit before, but now, yeah. Um, I mean, basically, we just got to this kind of um, position, and like once I get this H pawn. With seconds, I think I'm considerably considerably more likely to win than he is to uh, to make a draw because yeah. I can just move around forever. Uh, and it's really funny that we're just playing on opposite color complexes, uh, and nothing's really, you know, vulnerable. But eventually, I I, I figured I should be able to get to the, you get the king and get the yeah bishop to get to the bishop. Magnus, congratulations! Huge I, day for you at the end. Yeah, I should say one thing though. Yes. Um, so. I did play the so um, first of all, huge congratulations to uh, my good friend and coach uh, Peter, mm -hmm. uh, who has his fiftieth um, birthday uh, today. Um, so I asked him yesterday if he had any wishes, and his wish was that I play the Danish Gambit, mm. and uh, that's what I tried to do <laughs> against Levon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm sure he'll be um, be be happy about uh, that. And also, he is not here with you because of his fifth year anniversary, right? Um, yeah. Also, like he usually doesn't come to the all the rapid events, so that's normal. What are you going to do tonight in preparation for uh, tomorrow? Um, I think uh, we're going to play some football with um, with the people here, so that could be fun. That should be fun. Yeah, Magnus, thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Back to you.